patience is about having confidence in our Lord's timing. When you believe Him, when you're sure, when you're certain that His sense of timing is the best sense of timing, then it's going to be easy for you to be patient, to wait it, to wait it out, to suffer long through it. Because you know, at the you, you're dealing with the truth of the Word of God. The end of the matter is better than its beginning. So you're looking forward to the end. I, I got to tell you, there's a difference between being impatient and being eager. Right. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. Yeah. There's a difference between impatience and being eager and being anxious. Yes. And we use those words wrongly so much. Um, you know, I think there was a time when I would have easily said, I'm anxious for the coming of the Lord. I'm not anxious for the coming of the Lord. I'm at perfect peace because peace is the fruit of the Spirit that preceded this. Right. Right. Anxiety is the absence of peace. Yeah, it's so, I, so yeah. yeah, so I have, I have peace, but I am eager for the coming of the Lord. Yes. And we, we are instructed to be eager for it. Otherwise, this word of God would not tell us that we should be praying. Even so, so come, come Lord Jesus, Jesus right? Patience is about, as I just said, having confidence in our Lord's timing of events in our life. It's about trusting the one that Peter was speaking of when he wrote this in 2 Peter chapter 3. But do not let this one fact escape you. Don't let it escape your notice. Beloved, that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. <clears throat> I guess that's a different sense of timing. All right? But that's what it says. And by the way, Peter spoke that because he had he knew that from, from the Psalms. It says there's a Psalm of, of Moses uh, in the 90s somewhere. And that's what it's, right, yeah. where it's saying the same thing. So it's just not a standalone verse. Right? Impatience is caused by or is about other people or situations people or situations that interrupt or delay our plans and purposes. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? When you have a plan, when you have a, when you're doing, when you're doing a task, when you have something and it doesn't go according to your plan, then you become impatient. It may be when you're on online at a bank, checking out at a grocery store, driving to a place that you're headed to, or, you know, and, and the traffic is going slow. Isn't, aren't these the things that rise up in patience in your life? We're in such a hurry. Because you're in a hurry. Patience is about enduring. It's about putting others before ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that should, be, that should be the fruit of our life. Because that's about love. Putting others before ourselves. So remember, earlier in the study, we looked at the Apostle Paul's spirit-inspired description of love. In 1 Corinthians 13, and it starts with these words. Love is patient. Love is kind. Mm -hmm. Love gives birth to patience and kindness. Amen. Love, joy, peace, peace. patience, kindness. kindness. Patience coupled with kindness and powered by love will lead to, can lead, I was, uh, no, no, okay, it will lead, yeah, I'm sure, will. to glorious interruptions. That's right, I was just <laughs> thinking about that. Yes. Glorious interruptions. Yeah. Now that has to do with, with kindness. Yes. You know, you, I said, the, the thing that upsets you, and the reason you get impatient is because all of a sudden your plans have gone awry. Right. But when you are being led, and the only thing that matters to you is, are his plans. That's right. How he determines. Do you, do you think that, that the world has a power to stop God's plans? Not at all. Not at all. Mm -mm. So, you know, you're, you're driving someplace and all of a sudden, you know, the traffic gets... You know what? God's in control. God is in control. As Jesus was going to the home of Jairus, a synagogue official, to bring a life-giving touch to his daughter, a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. He stopped and turned. It was a glorious interruption.